What's going on everybody? It is Aaron Trevino and we are in beautiful Colleyville, Texas here. We are in front of a newly built home with John Scott from Scott Home Builders. How you doing, John? Doing well, Aaron. Thanks. Absolutely. Can you tell us a bit more about this house? Uh, sure. Sure. This is the Soleil. It's a 2,500 square foot, four bedroom, uh, three bath. It's got a two car garage. It's on a two acre property in Colleyville on Hall Johnson Road that's been in the family for uh, generations and uh, uh, interestingly originally it was two lots and uh, then it was combined into one lot and it was uh, uh, a months-long process working with the city to get all the rezoning necessary to enable us to build uh, this home here and maintain the back living area where mom is still residing all right let's take a look what do we have uh, well, this is a mid-century modern influence design. Uh, we actually uh, uh, built an award-winning mid-century modern design home two years ago. Uh, but this is a uh, 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 one of a kind. It is uh, designed for the uh, current owners of this property. Interestingly, they came to us with ideas. They had a uh, inspiration design, I guess you would say. Uh, we uh, looked at that, we uh, made some suggestions, we got with our plan designer who designed the plan. Uh, we uh, went back and forth with the owners, got their approval on the plan, took it to a draftsman for uh, the architectural draft work. Um, got that back, we wanted to make some other modifications on the uh, just the roof line and the, uh, the uh, overall front appearance of the home. Uh, we took it to a uh, prominent architect here in the Dallas area that uh, uh, made the adjustments that we wanted. Uh, came back with a finished plan and uh, the, art, the, the renderings that were done were actually done by uh, a completely different architect uh, out of Mexico. So uh, we had uh, one, one plan designer, one architectural draftsman. We had uh, uh, another architect. Uh, and another architect. So two architects, a plan designer, a draftsman, plus a, the buyers and the builder to, to arrive at this design, which we think is very true to the mid-century modern school of design. This is a courtyard that the buyer wanted in the front of the home. Uh, the uh, home uses a variety of different materials. You can see that we've got the uh, uh, stack stone look there. We've got actually a, uh, a smooth, symmetrical siding uh, that's painted, and uh, uh, then we have a, a, a what's called a, the, the metal is a Z flashing in between those uh, uh, panels there. Over on the other side, uh, well, in, in the fort, in the uh, courtyard here, we have a, a stacked stone. Uh, I'm sorry, a stacked brick pattern, um, and then. Uh, over on the other side, we have a, a, a lap siding in the entryway and then a lap siding on the other side of the, uh, uh, the home there. Uh, most of these are more of a modern design window with, with no light dividers, although the client did want light dividers here on the uh, two windows there in the kitchen in the front. And they can stand at the kitchen and they can look out towards this beautiful front. Uh, we uh, did manage to save this very important oak tree for them, and uh, uh, it's looking good this year. So they just apparently planted some more evergreens there in the front. Yeah, this is a pretty tree. It's neat that y'all are able to do this, and a nice looking lot here, and plenty of trees. This lot took a lot of work. We left the, uh, uh, we had to demolish the original structure that was in the, in the back. Uh, there was a separate living quarters that we managed to maintain uh, through some uh, uh, gymnastics with the zoning uh, commission. And uh, uh, so there were overhead utility lines running across this line. So <laughs> we did get the utility lines taken down. There's now buried utilities. But on this two acre lot, we actually had to run the, uh, the plumbing and the, uh, the, the gas lines all the way from the street to the back of the lot because we have a secondary living structure in, in the rear. Uh, well, this is a uh, dull pane tinted uh, low E glass and it's going to block about 90% of the reflective rays, uh, uh, radiant rays of the sun. 
Um, and uh, uh, the window arrangement is is uh, uh, interesting with the with the clear panes in the center and the light dividers on the outside. Uh, also gives it just a little bit of a unique look from inside the living area. Absolutely. And what sort of doors did you mention we have over here? Uh, this is a sliding glass door with the with the uh, extra glass on either side, giving a lot of light uh, into the breakfast area and kitchen and just throughout the home. With the, there's, there's uh, abundance of windows in every room. You can see a lot of glass on the back in the uh, dining area, a lot of glass on the back in the family room. We've even got these lights up uh, here uh, in the garage, the windows there ah, in the garage. Okay. And uh, uh, interesting, the the uh, 12 foot ceilings uh, uh, with, with you allow you to go very high with the windows and uh, uh, particularly in the study in the front, it's a cool looking window already. We didn't, we didn't pay a whole lot of attention when we were there. We might want to take another shot of that. Hey everyone, it was pretty cool being able to see a bit of this house. Uh, pretty neat, modern looking design here. Um, kind of unique here in Colleyville, given that a lot of these, I mean, frankly, these big mansions that were built here 30, 40 years ago um, are more of a traditional uh, architectural style, whereas this one is more of a modern look. So it's definitely um, pretty unique to the area. But uh, signing off here on Hall Johnson in Colleyville, Texas, and we'll see you all at the next one. Hey everyone, we are in the lakes of Somerset here in Colleyville, Texas. We were actually at one of John's flips. It's looking pretty good. It's coming along. A lot of real neat stuff. They just put on a good roof. What's going on, John? Hi. Uh, well, we are uh, uh, remodeling, uh, complete remodel on this home. Uh, this is uh, 4608 Alexander Drive in the Lakes of Somerset in Colleyville. This is a 28 year old home. It's about 6,000 square feet. And uh, uh, it's a four bedroom. Uh, we added a half bath, so now it's four bedroom, five and a half bath with a three car garage on a canal uh, with a pool in the lakes of Somerset. And if I didn't say it's about 6,000 square feet. Outside, we've uh, we cleaned up the landscaping. We've uh, cut back the crepe myrtles, put out a winter rye that's already blooming. On the exterior, we've already done a, a biological cleaning of the brick to remove uh, uh, some of the biological stains that accumulated over the 28 years. And uh, we've just uh, 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 installed a, a, a brand new uh, synthetic slate roof, all the ridges, all the valleys, uh, all brand new. All right, let's take a look. And this flip in Colleyville is pretty neat. Fun fact, there's been about seven Texas Rangers who have lived in this neighborhood. Let's go. Um, on the entry here, we're going to uh, 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 completely redo this, this entryway. I don't know if you got a shot of that behind me or not, uh, but uh, we've got a, a, a glass and, and uh, uh, steel. Uh, it'll be a two-story entry piece uh, that uh, uh, iron's being fabricated right now, and uh, uh, hopefully that'll be that would be one of the last things that we do. We'll have to go back and do some brick repair and some paint, but we really think it's going to give a big pop to the curb appeal. All right, what do we have? Well, it's kind of a mess right now, but uh, <laughs> this is the way job sites look sometimes. <laughs> we, uh, we took out the old stairs with the uh, uh, wooden spindles. We've gone back in, it's hard to tell. We've gone back in with a wood stair. We're gonna have a, a wood, wood tread and a painted riser. And then we've uh, uh, done wrought iron uh, railings all the way up the stairwell, as well as on the second floor on this side and also overlooking the uh, family room. So there's a lot of wrought iron in the home. Okay. Very good, all right. Um, we prime these study doors and uh, open it up inside. This was uh, all a, a, a wood pattern, and uh, uh, yeah, it looked good. But uh, uh, we're updating it by uh, this is going to be a uh, kind of a darker gray. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, a, a light gray uh, on 
on all the paneling, on all the, the bookshelf. It's just all been primered now. And on this arch part above, uh, we're going to have a darker gray oh, wow. accent on this whole arch uh, top. There's a lot of uh, intricate woodwork in here, and uh, uh, we think it's, it's all going to work well. We did actually work with uh, uh, two different interior designers on, on getting this project to color choice. Cases and shelves and stuff, uh, those are in the formal dining room. This is uh, on the entry, uh, it opens up through the, the magnificent curved staircase, and this will all be a ceramic tile on this upper level into the kitchen. The first floor here will all be an engineered hardwood, so there will be a contrasting floor right here. Back to the study there, that's going to be uh, uh, engineered hardwood as well. All right, very so, good. Uh, all these columns were here, and some people like them, some people don't. I thought they looked kind of cool. Uh, we did not remove any of them. We didn't uh, uh, even test to see if any of them were structural, but I'm sure some of them are. I didn't want to figure out which ones were and which ones weren't. It was here uh, that opened up from the family room, the upstairs walkway, the dining in front, uh, out to the pool area and the canal that runs behind the property. Uh, you can see, I mentioned an additional wrought iron on the second floor uh, to the library and to the walkway. Uh, uh, we uh, are going to paint uh, uh, all the walls in here, a, uh, uh, also a, a light gray. And then we're going to have a, a, a darker gray color in the uh, uh, bookcase area. We do have a brand new uh, mantle built here for this fireplace which would be a tile surround. All right. And what's back here? Oh, uh, well, be careful. Step, step over this. <laughs> okay. Um, this is the uh, family room, which uh, is connected to a, a wet bar area. Ah. Uh, so, uh, get all new quartz countertop in here, uh, new, new sinks. Um, the... Uh, Home came with uh, an exquisite crown molding almost throughout the home. Uh, a lot of work. We've been very careful to damage as little of that as possible. Uh, also comes with a just a galore of, of built-in cabinetry throughout, and uh, uh, we're maintaining most of that cabinetry for the most part. Uh, we'll be coming back in here with a uh, cast stone fireplace, and then. Uh, the kitchen breakfast family room, wet bar area, this is all open. We took down cabinets that are hanging down uh, from the ceiling here. We opened all this up. And uh, this will also be a uh, uh, quartz countertop in here. We're going we're gonna to go with a, uh, a bright white on all the cabinets in here. This is just uh, uh, pre-painted. Uh, again, this is uh, going to be, you can see we've got a lot of, this is going to be called paste though. This is that darker gray that's uh, been used in some other places that I've mentioned. Uh, going to have a couple of, uh, uh, actually we're going to maintain cam lights here. We'll have uh, a couple of pendant lights coming down over the island. Uh, this island is going to be a, a darker color. We thought about doing the island black, but it's not going to be black. It's going to be a darker color. I can't remember the name of it. I've been on my color chart with you. Uh, but uh, uh, variety of colors. I had customers the other day ask me some questions about uh, interior design, how they make their selections. Uh, most all of our uh, cu customers have the opportunity to select at our design center where they have uh, four, six, eight hours with a professional interior designer to help put everything together. We did the same thing when we were doing uh, uh, the colors for uh, this home. And uh, what I told my customers when they asked is, is when you get there, talk to the designer, tell her what you like, and then take her suggestions. Some of them might kind of seem out of left field to you, but go ahead and take some chances. And uh, uh, we're doing some of that on this, on this home too. Here we replaced the uh, upper cabinets. They were an arch top, uh, which is uh, a little dated. So we come back in with a, a rectangular top. These are going to be glass doors. Um, we've taken down the rectangular top here. Uh, we will be doing all new stainless steel 
uh, appliances with a new stainless steel uh, built-in 40 inch, 48 inch refrigerator, uh, built-in cooktop, and we uh, added a, a, a vent so we can vent out the cooktop over So something that came to mind, I uh, was pointing out the fireplace locations. Uh, this home actually has uh, three fireplace locations. We're gonna have a couple of water heaters and uh, um, uh, we put in a gas range. So this had a, uh, a gas distribution pipe that was a three quarter inch. So we did have to upgrade that to a one and a half inch and uh, 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 that's something that you, you, you run into, one of the unexpected things you find when you're uh, uh, remodeling the house. Sometimes the old homes aren't up to speed and you just find something you just have to do. Stairs. Uh, here's one of the new rectangular tops. I don't know if you see that or not. Okay, uh, no worries. And, uh, this is another large bedroom. So this has got uh, two bedrooms down. The old roof uh, was defective. There were multiple roof leaks, and so we did have water penetration in a uh, variety of areas. Some of it actually made it to the first floor. We did have to cut out and repair this. Uh, there are several places in the home where we removed drywall, maybe removed insulation, uh, treated that area with uh, uh, a, a bleach, um, and uh, went back in and closed it up after it had an opportunity to dry. Big walk in closet down here. This is a great mother in law room, uh, father in law room, a guest room. Uh, on the first floor with the uh, uh, master suite, we'll go get it on the other side of the home next. You tell me when we're ready. Sure, you said two or three car garage. Yeah, this is a three car garage with uh, two garage doors. Each got remote control. Uh, we will, uh, we, we did repair some uh, holes in the garage uh, drywall and uh, we retextured it. So this will be taped, vented, textured, and painted, uh, trimmed, just like the interior of the home. Of course, no floor covering. I've considered epoxying this floor in May. So here we are in the master suite, and uh, uh, we've uh, uh, got in the, the built-in cabinets. Uh, we have a little art bench on the side. We have a uh, uh, tray of ceilings here with, uh, uh, I, looks like three levels, crown molding. Uh, we've uh, gone back to a lot of drywall repair, texture repair, and uh, uh, we will be painting the ceiling uh, uh, lighter color than the wall, so there will still be the contrast, and you'll pick up the contrast in the different roof heights or ceiling heights in here uh, when we do that. Uh, it's got a uh, uh, sitting area here that uh, uh, has got a lot of windows. It will look out to the pool and to the uh, uh, canal area. Uh, this is a unique community with a uh, couple of ponds throughout, a canal throughout. And they actually have a, uh, uh, a private park that's uh, acreage with a pond that is uh, connected via. Uh, it, it's it's uh, you can you can go through a gate with the code to to get to an additional city park property. Here in the master bath, we've uh, uh, done quite a bit. Uh, this uh, uh, used to have a couple of columns here. There's a, a fur down all the way around the top of the. Uh, uh, walls here at the ceiling. That's where the uh, uh, drywall dropped down a foot or two. Uh, we removed all that, that fur down. Uh, it's a little out of date. Uh, this actually it used to have a really small tiny shower here. So we have enlarged this shower. We're putting in a shower that uh, this will be a frameless glass enclosure with a bench. Uh, it'll have a, uh, a shower head, a handheld attachment, and a rain head here. Uh, in addition to that, we'll have a freestanding pedestal sink on this platform over here in the corner. Uh, this will all be ceramic tile with a ceramic tile surround. Uh, I believe we're going to be doing a, a granite countertops in here. And then there's dual walk-in closets. Dual walk-in closets. That's huge. Wow. That's a big closet. I know it's a little bit, there's a little bit of a shadow, but wow, that's a big closet. <laughs> All right. They're old and they're 
28 years old, and a lot of them haven't been updated. Some of them have been updated a little bit over time. Uh, one just sold across the street on the corner. Had been updated, but it's updated over 10 years. Nothing has been a brand new, total builder, professionally remodeled home sold in the neighborhood. And I think this is uh, going to re reinvigorate the community with uh, new, new flavor and uh, uh, hopefully some uh, new higher pricing also. <laughs> All right. Got a large walk in attic there. Nobody's interested in that. Somebody <laughs> might be. <laughs> okay, so this is the uh, game room with the wet bar attached. Uh, when we looked at this home originally, this was filled with, uh, uh, I think, five very, very nice Texas Hold'em tables and, and uh, uh, all matching chairs and uh, looked really great. It's got a lot of real rich paneling. We are going to leave that all the way it is. Uh, the seat, the uh, ceiling design is exquisite and uh, beautiful. So we're just going to uh, do the texture repair and the paint on the walls around. Uh, we're going to come back in with a quartz or a granite countertop here, uh, another sink, built-in fridge, um, this has got a window that looks out from the bar, and we added a powder bath just to serve as the game room from into what was this, this closet. The game room opens to a balcony. We've uh, rebuilt the balcony with a new composite board decking and new wrought iron railings around that are uh, uh, very securely fastened to the deck and the columns here. Uh, got a nice view again of the surroundings with the canal, the pool area, wow. and the large backyard. That's a pretty canal. This is about a half an acre lot. If we were filming down there, a blue heron had just landed on the dam and we would have gotten that. <laughs> okay, so here we are on the covered back porch. Um, you can see the uh, uh, bin out for the fireplace there on the wall from the master bedroom. There's also an attachment here for an outdoor gas grill. Um, you can come in and uh, uh, we planted this Asian jasmine. Uh, put in these uh, flagstone stepping stones, uh, cleaned up against some of the landscaping, uh, planted this uh, autumn fern, and uh, uh, we again used the biological cleaner on all of this uh, uh, flagstone walkway. Uh, plus we came around and we mortared all the, the uh, cracked joints uh, that were there. And uh, uh, this, this just looks so much better. Uh, this had a wood stairs that were deteriorating, and we came back with the composite wood uh, and uh, built that. And then uh, we replaced that newer section right now of, of the flagstone walkway that had been busted up by tree roots and such. Um, interestingly, something that uh, we did, you can't tell right now, but uh, the guttering system on this home used to come down, and it had a downspout that came down through the behind the brick and uh, we weren't real comfortable with that we didn't like it uh, we removed it we patched all the brick uh, any gutters now will be mounted outside the brick we planted all the Asian jasmine uh, ground cover here Absolutely. Uh, just because of age, this is a brick facade on a, a concrete wall. We came back and we rebuilt this entire brick facade. Uh, took a little bit of work to get the mortar, the new mortar to blend with the old mortar, uh, but our brick masons did a good job of that. Uh, so this is all good looking and, and, uh, uh, and it doesn't look brand new, but it, uh, portions of it are. Uh, the parts that work were clean. We added some additional uh, uh, landscaping down here. We've got uh, uh, 
uh, red yucca, two here at the, the top of the stairs. Uh, we've got uh, uh, all of this used to be, this used to be enclosed by a gate. All of this was surrounded by growth. So it was a three section rear yard that you couldn't see any of the pond uh, or the canal back there. Uh, so we took out uh, all the wrought right iron fencing and we took out all the uh, uh, growth and we came back with some of the new landscaping. Uh, it's an incomplete job right now, but we've got the uh, uh, fan palm over there in the corner. We've got uh, some of the new uh, uh, red yucca, uh, new ferns. And interestingly, we're going to go on market in January. So we've got uh, uh, a couple of plants on either side. This is called a clementine, and it blooms in the winter. So we'll have some color in the winter. Uh, you can see the uh, new coping, uh, the new tile. The new coping looks nice. Thank you. Wow, there's a uh, canal too. There's a sidewalk as well. Yeah, we uh, uh, there's a sidewalk that goes down the canal. It actually connects to the uh, uh, private park for the community. Uh, there used to not be any real access except across grass, so we came in and we added this flagstone walkway. This will be uh, uh, replastered Monday. Uh, we have a waterfall effect from the hot tub there. We have a new uh, heater for the hot tub installed. We've got a new timer installed. So a new pool, some new equipment, and new landscape. Great party house because you can be back here. You, you, know, you can see the balcony. You can see the deck. There's actually another covered patio on this side of the home. And uh, uh, so there's a lot of outdoor activity that could be had here. Absolutely. Oh, the tile over here? Yeah. Definitely. So I, I guess that just about wraps it up. Do you have any questions? Other than the uh, synthetic slate roof with a light touch. <laughs> That's right. I uh, yeah, I did know. I, I know I mentioned the roof, but uh, it, I can't I can't wait to see it. It's gonna look nice. It's very expensive. It took a long time to install, uh -huh. and uh, it's uh, very durable, long lasting roof. Sure. I like this balcony as well. It's kind of the focal point of the house, mm -hmm. in, in a way, at least from the back view. And the canal as well. You can't beat this backyard. You can't beat this view. Not only from the balcony, but also down here. And like you mentioned, the sidewalk goes to the private park. Hey, everybody. Signing off here from beautiful Colleyville, Texas. Uh, it was a real pleasure having John coming out and basically showing us his new flip here. Um, this house, as y'all saw, you know, the big focal point, obviously the pool, the balcony, so many different amenities, uh, so much history here. Um, not to mention also behind me would be the, um, the little canal we have, private sidewalk as well. But uh, nonetheless, it's been great being here in Colleyville. Um, really enjoyed this one and uh, we'll talk to y'all soon.